This is one of those rare moments for me where I can honestly say if you told little gay Chris at 15 years old that he'd one day interview the person who plays someone who represented survival and uh, perseverance to him, he wouldn't have believed you. Wow. Wow, honey, thank you. Yeah, do you get that from, you must get that from gay boys. You must I have... do, I do, but it's always really lovely. It means a lot. Yeah, did you ever expect that you would reach that demographic when you did the first screen movie? I had no idea what demographic I would reach. Honestly, I had no idea of the success of these films or the impact that these films would have on people. I mean, listen, it was, it's an honor to play such a, such a strong woman and someone who's not a victim and someone who takes over and, and holds her own and won't allow life to get away with her. Um, but to, to realize the impact that has on other people's lives and that it's had a positive effect on people is just like the cherry on top, right? Yeah, of course, it must be. I don't know. I don't play Sydney, but I can expect, <laughs> I can assume that it, mu it must feel that way. I mean, there is something yeah. to be said about, you know, we feel this way about Jamie Lee Curtis, obviously, as well as Laurie Strode. Um, and I don't know how much you've kind of dissected this relationship between strong women and the gay community. I don't know how surrounded you are by gay men or queer people in your life. Um, yes. But I'm sort of just curious to know uh, what, what your perspective is on that. Why scream queens like yourself are revered so much by, um, by seemingly gay men in particular? And, but also I think it's not just gay men. I think it's people who have felt shut down in some way in their life or felt that they, they've had to sort of push a glass ceiling or been misunderstood or been bullied or, you know, I think, um, so I think it makes sense for certain, certainly the, the queer community, gay men, but I think also just for anyone who's is struggled with, um, bullying or or challenges in, in their youth especially i think um uh, yeah marginalization yeah. suppression um it's yeah. it's the underdog rising above yeah but. absolutely absolutely and as sydney does that or laurie strode does that gives people that confidence that they can overcome